I was just getting on here because I upload videos to YouTube sometimes and I wanted to ask for prayer. Um, I'm working on another thing over here if y'all don't mind. Ever since I got out of the hospital, I've been having trouble. Um, I was put on the steroid for, for the allergic reaction and it caused my sugar level to go up and it won't come down anymore and it usually comes down. I'm not usually a diabetic of this case, but it's causing me some issues and so I really need your prayers right now. It makes me get really, really dizzy, blurred vision, really weak, tired. Um, when I have to get out and go somewhere, like my glasses come in today, it's hard to get inside and get back out. And uh, it's just really making me feel real bad. So if anybody has ever been on prednisone before uh, for allergic reaction, and they've went and experienced um, a rise in sugar diabetic situation, that this time it doesn't want to stop. It, I've been off the prednisone, I think, for a couple of weeks, and my sugar usually comes down and gets normal, more normal. It don't usually get up as high as it's been, and anyway, I just, uh, I don't know what else to do. Uh, I'm on insulin now, where I usually don't take insulin like this. It's not something that I'm used to, and, uh, I'm a little disoriented, and I'm trying to make this video as the best I can because I just I really need all the prayers I can get right now because it's really affecting me uh, physically, mentally. It's um, made the brain fog worse. Um, I wouldn't be going through this if that doctor hadn't done what he'd done and give me what I was allergic to. And he knew it. He kind of took advantage of my situation, and it's not right. Because he caught me when I couldn't, um, I couldn't answer questions. You know, I couldn't help myself. Uh, hang on, got a phone call. Okay, I hope this worked. I was getting a phone call. Uh, I'll have to call right back. Um, anyway, he caught me in a lot of pain, and my husband wasn't there at the part of where he came in. And if he had just checked with the doctors, they uh, would have been able to get answers for him. Because the very next day after I broke out, after the allergic reaction, after he gave me that medicine, they were able to confirm my allergic reaction to it and that it caused Steven Johnson syndrome. Just thankful to God that it, I was already in the hospital and they were able to confirm that I could take the prednisone and that I'd had it before and I could take it. And they reversed it quicker than what it would have been. But it just doesn't seem right that a doctor can give you something he knows on your list, whether you can confirm it or not. He should have got a hold of my doctors because the other doctor that came in later after the allergic reaction got a hold of one of my doctors and confirmed it the next day after it was too late. They could have done, they could have done asked. It, this, this just ain't right. I don't mind my days being abnormal through the weekdays, but it's just that I don't like when these things happen to me on Sunday because it takes everything I have just to get up and get myself going and get myself to church and I don't like that. If you understand what I'm talking about, it means everything to me to get through the doors of the church. But ever since this has been happening to me, it's really been harder. And there's moments when I think that I'm not gonna make it for Sunday morning and I was a little 
disoriented trying to play the piano Sunday morning, and I felt so bad. And I, I like to help. I like, I like to do something. And I really don't want to say no. I really don't want to say I don't feel like it. So sometimes I just get up there anyway because I just want to help. I just want to. I want to do something. And uh, I, I need God to move. I need whatever has messed up inside of me to be healed. Because I can't even stand to leave the house now. Because I suffer every time I try to go somewhere. And my glasses was they, my glasses have been in for I know a couple of days. But I wasn't able to get to them because simply just trying to make one trip, I had to go to Anniston to get some shots. And I just about dropped bottom and had to get home after I got the shots because I wasn't able to do anything. I was going to try to visit my daughter and be able to go see my grandson and stuff, and I couldn't do it. I'm glad that I didn't plan it because I wouldn't have been able to fulfill it, and I don't want to let people down, so I just don't talk about it much. But God knows what it's all about, and He knows my heart. He knows the intents of my heart, and He knows what I want to do. And I need this to stop because I'm tired of waking up on Sunday morning or any morning for that matter, feeling the way that I feel. And I had to get my hair cut again because I couldn't handle the length of it <laughs> like I used to. Um, getting the rough headaches and having the hair over my neck because of the allergies and the Everything that's happened to me, you know, it's affected my skin. I just couldn't do it anymore. So uh, I had it, had them cut it short as they could so that I wouldn't have to get it cut too quick. And it hurt to do that. It's one of the situations where you have to, not that you want to. And uh, I'm just really struggling right now. I've got a husband with a lot of faith, and sometimes when I don't have but a small amount, he helps me by lifting me up, you know, and helping me get through things, and even things I don't understand. And my puppy, she's like my, you know, my comfort animal, and she knows when I'm feeling down and out, and she kind of tries to help me, too. And every time I try to stay out of the hospital, I try to start off a new year without having to go, and next thing you know, I'm in the hospital again. You go in for one thing and a doctor gives you something else because he doesn't. Oh, I see that it's on your allergy list. But since you can't give me a direct answer, you're in a lot of pain. So I'm paraphrasing. I'm going to give it to you anyway because I can't confirm it. And you can't confirm it. You don't know why it's there. So if somebody's got something on their allergy list, for goodness sakes, doctors. Don't give it to them. There's a reason. Anyway, when my husband was there the next few days, the man didn't show up. I heard that it may have been because they wouldn't allow him to because it was him that... I've, I've even got the paperwork. It's him that put me on it. It was right there. They thought it was antibiotic, but I had been getting doctored for the infection for several days, and I did not break out until... They put the one that I was allergic to in me. And uh, I started to turn red again. That was the, that's how I started. It always starts on my neck and then goes to my arms and my back and stuff. And by the time Ray saw me the next day, I was already having another allergic reaction. It had started the night before. 
So this man did this beyond my husband. And uh, talk about tested trials and heartaches and trying to fight to get through things. I have, I've been through it and I'm just tired. I'm really tired and I'm really homesick for heaven. I really, I can't wait for the Lord to come back. I'm, my skin's still peeling for some reason. I'm like my, my arms sometimes and my hands, my legs. And I shouldn't be doing this right now, but it's still lingering for some reason. Anyway, please be praying for me. I need strength. Thank you.